Refilling a petrol or diesel car is a fast process and one that many of us will be familiar with. Even factoring in the compulsory selection of chocolate bars while queuing to pay, you'll be in and out in five minutes. Topping up an EV isn't quite that brisk yet, but charging speeds are getting quicker all of the time. In case you thought we'd be able to give you a precise amount of time for how long it takes to charge up your car, then it's a bit more nuanced than that because it depends on the speed of your charger. To work out how long it takes to charge your electric car, then we need to do a little bit of maths. But don't worry, I'm not talking about hardcore algebra, just a simple sum. Kilowatt hour divided by kilowatt. So a typical 80 kilowatt hour battery pack will take around 11 hours to fill up when plugged into a 7 kilowatt home charger. Some wall box and car combinations can get the job done even faster with rates up to 22 kilowatts, although that's rare and expensive. You could plug into a three pin plug, but many manufacturers advise only doing this as a last resort. You won't get more than three kilowatts from a domestic socket, and the reality is you'll probably get even less. For a car with a bigger battery, you'd be measuring the charge time in days rather than hours. If you aren't able to charge at home or you're taking on a journey longer than your EV is capable of, then there's a growing network of public chargers to rely on. There are destination chargers at places like shopping centres, which could deliver anything from 7 kilowatts upwards. And at facilities like this, you're able to charge at a much higher rate. Fast chargers that deliver as much as 350 kilowatts are now available, making for super quick recharges. Cars that are capable of charging at higher speeds can go from nearly empty to 80% in under 20 minutes. So why 80 and not 100? Well, when a car reaches 80% charge, the rate starts to slow down. Imagine it like filling a glass of water. You slow down for that last part so you don't spill anything. It's more efficient to stop charging at 80% and be on your way, even if that means stopping again to charge later in the journey. It's better for the battery's long-term health, only charge to 100% when you really need to. But let's get back to those 20 minutes. Yes, it takes longer than it will take to fill up with petrol, but still only about the same amount of time it takes to have a cup of tea or coffee, perhaps with a cake. Uh, yeah, definitely with a cake. And anyone who's ever had to take kids on a road trip toilet stop will know that you'd be lucky to get in and out of the services in much less than 20 minutes. We should point out that this is based on an ideal scenario of finding a powerful enough charger to consistently put out the maximum rate that your car is capable of charging at until it reaches 80%. Just because a charger is capable of a certain output doesn't necessarily mean you'll get the full beans for the whole amount of time that the car's plugged in. On a rapid charger, it's common for the peak supply to start decreasing after a few minutes. And if multiple chargers share the same electricity supply, then the output per plug could be decreased, or the car may throttle the charge in order to preserve battery life. So there we have it, a long but reasonably straightforward answer to how long does it take to charge an EV. The real question is, what would you do while waiting? Let us know in the comments. Head to drivingelectric.com for the latest electric car advice, news and reviews. And make sure to check us out on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Before you go, make sure you subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon to be notified when the next video goes live. <laughs>